we have to find out the equation of the circle passing through two points and center lying on a particular straight line. Now we have solved the same type of problem using different methods. In this particular video, we will solve it in a different method as suggested. So we will try to find out the midpoint of two points. Then we will get the perpendicular bisector. We know the perpendicular bisector passes through the center. We have a line which is passing through the center. We solve both of them, we will get the coordinates of the center. Once we got the coordinates of the center, we can easily calculate the radius and we can find the equation of the circle. So let's go ahead first, write down what is the equation of our circle. x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square where h comma k are coordinates of the center and r is the radius of the circle. Now we have been given that a line y equals to 5x minus 3 is passing through the center or center is lying on this particular line. So h comma k point coordinates center with coordinates h comma k should satisfy this particular line. We will get k equals to 5h minus 13 that is our equation number 1. Now we have two points a comma b so let us try to join a comma b then find out the midpoint of a b and let us say that is c then we will find out the equation of o c we have another line which is with let us say that is q then we have p q p q and o c wherever they intersect that is the center O. So first let us try to find out the equation of OC. To find out equation of OC, first I need to find out what is slope of AB. Then we also need to find out what are coordinates of C. Slope of AB is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that will be 0 minus of minus 7 0 plus 7 divided by 6 minus 5 which is equals to 7 by 1 that is equals to 7. If slope of AB is equal to 7 then slope of OC will be negative reciprocal of that so that will be minus 1 by 7. Coordinates of C will be midpoint of AB so we will use the formula x1 plus x2 by 2 6 plus 5 by 2 comma minus 7 plus 0 by 2 which is equals to 11 by 2 comma minus 7 by 2. Now we know the point coordinates of point C. We know the slope of OC. We can go ahead and find out what is the equation of OC. Equation of OC is given by y minus y1, y plus 7 by 2 equals to m minus 1 by 7 into x minus x1, x minus 11 by 2. Let us simplify this. We will have 2y plus 7 divided by 2 equals to minus 1 by 7 into 2x minus 11 divided by 2. We can cancel to and do cross multiplication. We will have 14y plus 49 equals to minus 2x plus 11 or can we write down 2x plus 14y equals to minus 38 or x plus 7y equals to minus 19. Now that is the equation of OC. So let's go ahead and write down x plus equation of OC is given by x plus 7y equals to minus 19 and we know that h comma k center passes through this particular line. So we will have h plus 7k equals to minus 19. This is our equation number 2. What we have earlier is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Let us solve both of them. We will use substitution method for that. We will start with second equation and write down h plus 7 into instead of k we will be writing 
whatever the value of k in terms of h that is 5 h minus 13 equals to minus 19 let us solve this we will get 36 h equals to 72 or we will get h equals to 2 that will give us k equals to 5 into h 5 into 2 minus 13 which is equals to minus 3 so we got the coordinates of center as 2 comma minus 3 now let us calculate what is the value of radius so we can go back and substitute in the equation to calculate the radius we will consider the distance OB we'll say OB distance is given by square root of y2 minus y1 whole square this is 2 comma minus 3 so 6 minus 2 whole square plus 0 plus 3 whole square which is square root of 4 square plus 3 square that is square root of 25 that's equals to 5 so we got the radius also now so we can go back and write down equation of circle passing through the two points and having center lying on y equals to 5x minus 13 is given by x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square equals to 5 square or simplify that we will get x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y plus 13 minus 25 that will be minus 12 equals to 0. So this is the equation of the circle which is passing through the points A comma B and having center lying on y equals to 5x minus 13.